Hey everyone and welcome to the channel after a longer break, this time with a new name, Act, Reflect, Persist, Learn, which I will talk about more in different video. But in this video, I would like to show you my project called Lazy Doc. But before we move on to the doc itself or the robot itself, let me also give you a bit of a context, how I even came up with this kind of idea. So it's all started way back in my childhood when I was dreaming about having some kind of a robot toy or even a robot dog. Actually, I did have some kind of a remote controlled cars, models and so on, but never anything as complex as this one. And also for the last couple of years, I was dreaming about buying Raspberry Pi, but I didn't have exact idea what to do with it. And now it sounded like maybe it's a good time to try with something like that. Another reason is that, as probably you all may know, that so many crazy things are happening right now in the tech world, especially in the AI field. And I was thinking, how about connecting AI with a real world? So why not to get this kind of a robot dog? However, after researching, I found out that those kind of robots are not that much cheap. You know, I just thought that since we have drones which can fly and they have cameras and so on and they are not that much expensive, how expensive can be a robot? Uh, I mean, like the robot dog. Unfortunately, they are still quite expensive and the decent ones are starting even from a few thousand dollars. However, after doing some kind of research, I found one particular one that was quite reasonable on AliExpress and it was exactly this one. It's WaveGo RPA I Go. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I paid for the robot around $250, so not that much crazy amount of money. And also it was it wasn't assembled actually. I had to assemble it myself, but I got all of the parts, so I only had to buy batteries and that's all. And of course, later on, you can also program it because it's all open source. However, there were some issues. Let me start um, with the introduction of the robot. I can just show you. So this is the robot itself. And what do we have here is Inside here, you have the ESP32 board, which is basically something like Arduino. And it's the main core controller of those servos for each, for each leg. In this case, we have three servos per each leg, so it will be in total 12 servos. Also, this wide angle camera on front and here under this, there's actually Raspberry Pi 4 extension, which is connected here with those wires. So in short, it is how it's built. Of course, it came disassembled, so I had to assemble it myself, if you would also like to get this one like that. And of course, you can still build this kind of robot with some ready tutorials by 3D printing the parts, connecting some kind of random servos and so on and so on. But personally, I didn't want to deal with that. I still wanted to have this experience of assembling myself and writing the code, but I didn't have time and I didn't have 3D printer. I really didn't want to go through that much work. So I assume that's quite nice option actually. So going back to the robot, you can actually get one without the Raspberry Pi 4 extension, only with the this ESP32 board here that exposes the Wi-Fi hotspot. And then you can connect from your phone or laptop just to go forward, backward, and just do the basic movements. Also, like I mentioned before, 
both the ESP32 controller in C and the Raspberry Pi in Python, everything, all of the code is open source, so you can modify and then make some changes to it. But if you want to add some kind of vision, machine learning, and so on and so on, that it's nice to have the uh, Raspberry Pi 4 extension, which is here. And as you can see, here are the cables. There are basically just four cables that are connecting this base robot with the battery that is also hidden inside. So we have this send and receive cables here, and of course the, the power ones, and that's all, they, that's basically all. How it works right now out of the box is that here on this Raspberry Pi 4, we just installed the software that is actually Flask Python server that is exposing the web interface like you can see here. And you can send this commands. So for example, I can just move camera up or down. I can also move the robot like that. Um, you get some insights on what's happening with the robot and few scripted actions like, for example, the, the handshake. And basically that's all. Also we have the camera, as probably you can see this, this white camera. However, I realize that it needs quite a lot of uh, light to, to transmit anything reasonable. And that's all, so we just get this nicer interface and that's how it works and looks like. And here we are in the dashboard. Unfortunately, my robot just ran out of the battery and I just lost the connection, but this is what you get from the Raspberry Pi that runs on top of the robot. Actually, this is like a local dashboard where you can just move the robot, I mean, just control it, uh, change the position of the camera, get some kind of stat, and also get this preview of the video, plus few other options. However, with this computer vision, uh, they didn't work very correct. Let's put it that way in on my side. And I also experienced some um, issues with this whole dashboard as the Flask server, which is also running the WebSocket, couldn't start probably due to some kind of legacy outdated dependencies. Actually, if you go to my GitHub, you can just find this PR which I created and you can see what kind of changes I made here. The only thing worth mentioning is that compared to the original software provided by Waveshare, it, you have to start it manually and I keep it like that just for the purpose of prototyping it and extending it even more, which you will hopefully see in the upcoming videos. So as you can see, I'm just connecting with the robot via the SSH tunnel and then just running the whole application in Python in this case. So once we have this Python Flask server running, we can just send uh, various commands. And here at this point, it's just up to our imagination what we would like to do with the robot or maybe add some kind of automation. And those are actually the topics that I would really like to touch on in different videos where see, let's, uh, I would like to see the potential of what can be built with the AI and this kind of robot and maybe some other things who knows probably some kind of machine learning computer vision i think there there are pretty uh, many things that can be done with this robot um, yet still without touching the esp32 code which is also there actually if you just go to the repository of mine you can also see that it's divided into this rpi so basically this is the Raspberry Pi code. Everything is in Python. And also if you go to Arduino WaveGo slash WaveGo, this is basically something like a C. So you can see all the, the code that runs on this ESP32 base controller. So if you would like to change the movement of each leg and so on, which 
possibly could have been very helpful in extending the possibilities of this robot, you would need to change it here because it's like the lower level uh, control uh, controller of the robot. A uh, few more things about the robot. So you can also find the official Wikipedia here about the robot. Here are the versions. Actually, in my case, I have the Raspberry Pi version, apparently with the extension. So that there's quite extensive documentation on how to contribute, how to change uh, things on the robot. And also you can see the assembly, how, it, how the whole process looks like. And yeah, I think that's all for now. I hope that it was nice introduction to this topic. If you have any questions, if you would like to uh, build similar robot, maybe you have some kind of ideas. What would you like to build with that? Maybe I can just test it before you get one yourself. Also, maybe you can just uh, build this kind of robot yourself and um, I don't know, just 3D print some parts and try to come up with something similar. Maybe this can be some kind of inspiration for you. I don't know. So that was the first introduction, introduction video to this WaveShare Go robot. I hope it gave you the general idea of how this robot looks like, what it can do, what it cannot. <laughs> Let's put it this way because also it's, it's, there are some limitations, but maybe uh, in the upcoming videos we can unlock some more possibilities and features of this robot. So thank you for attention. Stay, um, stay here for the upcoming videos and I hope you like it. If you have any comments, please just leave them down below. Also, I encourage you to so just subscribe the channel and uh, last but not least, you can join the GitHub discussion. I will link it down below. So if you have some kind of topics, if you would like to chat, we can discuss it either under the video or there on GitHub. So thank you so much for the attention and see you in the next video. Bye.